Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Metropolitan Oakland International is a large multi-use airport located on the east side of San Francisco Bay, 10 miles northeast of the San Francisco International Airport and just south of the city of Oakland, California. All segments of the aviation community are represented in the traffic at Oakland. The airport configuration and traffic mix make Oakland a unique and challenging airport for both controllers and pilots. A clear understanding of the airport diagram before you depart for Oakland will help pilots understand some of the issues and challenges at the airport. Oakland has its own Class Charlie airspace underlying the San Francisco Class Bravo. Aircraft inbound from the southeast are cautioned that the Hayward Executive Airport, Hotel Whiskey Delta, is six miles southeast of Oakland and has a similar runway configuration, although smaller. Pilots need to thoroughly familiarize themselves with airspace requirements and surrounding airports before departing for Oakland. Hotspot 1 is located at the approach end of runway 28 right and taxiway Bravo. Two issues occur at this location, the first being pilots instructed to taxi via Charlie Bravo, sometimes miss to hold short markings and signage for runway 28 right and foul the runway. The other issue concerns pilots with the same instructions missing the turn on Bravo, continuing on Charlie, turning on Alpha, and crossing the hold short line. This error also leads to conflicts with traffic landing runway 28 right. Close inspection of the airport diagram and the use of moving map displays will help pilots avoid this error. There are currently no defined run-up areas on the north field at Oakland. Pilots should coordinate a run-up location with the ground controller prior to takeoff. Hotspot 2 can best be defined by the large concrete area where taxiways Delta, Charlie, Hotel, and Golf come together. This issue concerns aircraft departing the FBO ramp and instructed to taxi via Hotel Charlie and missing taxiway Charlie and continuing onto runway 10 left 28 right. In addition, aircraft instructed to taxi via Delta Charlie have also missed a slight left turn on Charlie and continued across Charlie to taxiway Golf and onto runway 10 left 28 right. Thorough understanding of your taxi instructions, including turns, crossings, and hold short locations, is imperative in alleviating this issue. Hotspot 3 concerns holding short of the runway 33 approach holds on taxiway Charlie. In this case, pilots either miss the markings or don't understand their clearances. Actively scanning for signage and markings while taxiing, along with asking for clarification if you are unsure of your ATC clearance, will help prevent this mistake. In the same general area is another problematic intersection where taxiways Charlie and Juliet meet. Close attention is required to ensure the proper turns and route are followed. Aircraft that miss their turns or hold short locations may very quickly find themselves on an active runway. While not hotspots, there are two more issues of which pilots should be aware. The first deals with a traffic pattern for runway 28 left. If you need to go around and find yourself entering the left downwind for runway 28 left, the tower will ask you to keep your downwind over the control tower to avoid conflicting with traffic on runway 30. The other problem is found on the right downwind for runway 28 right. A number of pilots have turned downwind and paralleled the large freeway that runs somewhat parallel to the runway. This track will put the downwind traffic in conflict with straight-in traffic to the runways. Remember, if you are ever in doubt or unclear about any instruction, ask the tower. They are there to help. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Oakland will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Metropolitan Oakland International Airport. It's always better to know before you go.